you know I love pointing breeds, but weather, cover, even the bird you're hunting will enter into the equation. Sometimes labs, spaniels, or no dog is the right choice. Those are the routes we'll take today in wind, heavy cover, and wide open spaces. I'm Scott Linden, and today is the National Shooting Sports Foundation presents Wing Shooting USA, No Dogs, Slow Dogs, and Low Dogs. Bits and pieces we simply didn't have room for on other episodes that illustrate various hunting strategies, habitats, and a ton of dog breeds. Hey, let's go hunting. Our first stop was Redfield, South Dakota with Kurt Van Vliet and Marie Kimlicka. It's a little bit windy today and we're dealing with standing corn. So it's gonna be a big group with some drivers and blockers, no dogs for now. I'm just afraid of what a dog might do in this wind in the corn. If you've been in it, you know what I mean. They can't hear you, they can't hear the birds, and the birds can't hear us, so wish us luck. Okay, we're hunting, Woohoo! I think I got the best part of this deal. Come on, birdies. Kurt and Marie farm and ranch, and we're getting the good stuff they saved from the combine. The state's notoriously hinky weather reared its ugly head, making these wild birds wilder. I thought if something come out of there, yeah. they're going to stay on the property anyway. Sure. Well, it's surprising how many soybeans you find in these birds. Some of the fields I've hunted the last few days, uh -huh. there have been leftover beans even in the rows. Uh -huh. And then some of them were alternate rows of bean and corn. Yeah. And I think I understand now why. Yeah. They, uh, Given the choice, I think they'd, they'd they take a bean. They beans, yeah. Yeah, yeah they sure. A little bit thick in here. That's where the dogs need to be. Just get on all fours, act like a dog. Upwards. They're here. Nice sand bot to going into this next place we're gonna hunt. You going over a little further, babe? I wouldn't mind seeing a white tail. That's Kurt. His strategy is to box in the birds, pushing them to the best holding cover. Nice bird. Eventually, we'll get there too. That's Marie. Her pheasant country lodge was our home place in Redfield. We're joined by their son Cody's college football teammate, Hayden Zenner. That's Cody, back from service in the Middle East and now in college. On the right is Brady Furman. His brother Ryder is somewhere in the corn, I hope. You, you can put that Cody's a college student and football player. He brought teammates for a hunt before football practice that night. These guys are iron men. Kurt's brother Rick. Hey Kurt. Yeah. I'll tell you, I have yet to see better mountain lion habitat than this corn here. Well, that's what I was just gonna bring up. We've got to warn everybody that in the 2011 hunt, our North Carolina group chased one out of here. And he could have swore it was a bear or something like that. Said, we don't have bears in this country. We do get occasional mountain lion or a moose. They don't get too far away. Well, they need about 100 square miles each, so uh -huh. this is a good start. Yeah. Uh, another good reason not to have dogs in the field. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we put a couple birds in here on that first walk. Let's we'll see if we can find them now. Come on, bird. Up, bird. White tail, anything. Rooster! Oh! Hey, good job, Brady. Good job, good job, guys. One down, two hands, three hands. Brady's right in there somewhere, bud. <laughs> Let's go, birdie. Land it out your way, Scott. Oh, I like it. Walk him to the Don't jungle. Him right here. Run away from Scott's me. Scott's got Fly the end. He's blocking. Well, we did get a rooster out of that push. Yeah, I watched him. Things are looking up. Then the wind catches them and they go sideways. But the plan is coming together, as you'll see next on Wing Shooting USA. But we told him, we, we gave him what for. Yeah, yeah, we told him we were on his tail. Scott Linden's Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by 
Cabela's dog gear. It's in your nature. Happy Jack's DuraSpot, the latest technology in flea and tick control. My book, What the Dogs Taught Me, available everywhere books are sold. And Fiocchi, quality ammunition since 1876. So maybe you've dealt with wind like that yourself. Bit of a challenge, isn't it? Well, it gets better, and the dogs come back in the segment after that. We're here at Ruggs Ranch in the backyard, celebrating the great weather. This is our home place again for this season. I think you'll see a lot of it, and I think you'll enjoy it. Speaking of enjoying, if you want to take your friend hunting, you might be able to win this SKB shotgun. It's a side-by-side -side 28 gauge, and along with this one, you'll also win a 20 gauge for one of your friends. That and a trip to Sportsman's Paradise are on the docket as prizes in the Take Your Friend Hunting Sweepstakes. Go to wingshootingusa.org and enter to win. Enjoy the rest of the show. Time for the Upland Checklist brought to you by Cabela's, your source for dog gear. This mixed bag of hunts and birds means lots of gear. I always carry a short dog lead in my vest for safety and keeping dogs in control. Happy Jack Flex Enhance Plus kept the old dog's creaky joints going strong. We watered dogs in the field with my easy-to-carry Cabela's soft-sided foldable dog bowl. And Long Shots had plenty of pattern uniformity thanks to nickel-plated Fiocchi Golden Pheasant Ammo. Now let's get back to hunting. I'm seeing your grand strategy develop. Now I'm getting it. All right. So we, we've been kind of, we, we were way down there. Mm -hmm. We went that way, went this way, we went this way. Uh huh. What's the ultimate, what's the end game? Is it over here somewhere? The goal was to push them, push them into that wind, push them that way, and that's what we're going to continue to do, push them that direction and get them into them rushes down in there. All right. And uh, hopefully we're finding them in there now. Okay then. Yeah. Now we did push a couple into an area we already worked. We see that when they get up high in this yeah. wind. Yeah. When they get up high, they're gone. Yeah. All right, bird, where you at? Oh, there's a rooster! Good job. One for the cause. <laughs> Fly. Well, a little of this goes a long way. Moving on into a bigger, wetter swale where the tall grass might shelter a bird from this relentless wind. Well, we'll regroup and do it again. Well, yeah. Right there! Yeah! Woo! Good shot! Yeah, I got it marked good. <laughs> right in here somewhere. You bet. They don't know they have a foot-long tail. Got it. Ugh. Not used to being my own bird dog. Can I have a liver treat, please? <laughs> that was a neat shot. But good looking bird nonetheless. I don't speak Latin. What is per aspera ad astro? Uh, it's uh, through adversity to the stars. I love it. It was a unit motto. Amen. We're grateful he came through that adversity in one piece and Thanks to Perry Sterner for blocking. That'll cap it for the guys. Football practice beckons. How they have the energy for blocking and tackling after blocking and driving is a mystery to me. Redfield is the pheasant hunting mothership where they were first introduced to South Dakota. You'll also find great pothole hunting for ducks and geese and good fishing on the numerous lakes in this county rich with sporting opportunity. We head southwest to Pierre, South Dakota, in a field full of springers, next on Wing Shooting USA. Let's visit another time and place and get some springers on the ground at Cheyenne Ridge Signature Lodge near Pierre, South Dakota. 
Springers, Cletus, and Buford. In fact, all spaniels are often the perfect dog for thick CRP grass and wild running pheasants. Chris Lemaire hosted us, got a rare opportunity to hunt himself. Spencer Hagen handled dogs. Watch the step there, Willie. Willie Glow also guided. A dispute among breeders who like the black color variation in the German long hair's coat led to a new breed and club to support this dog which came to the United States in 1966. Its forerunners were pictured in hunting paintings as far back as the Middle Ages. Tweet the breed name at Wing Shooting USA and you might win a box of Happy Jack dog care products. How embarrassing. We're going to get another shot at him, buddy. That bird flew behind the sun. They're always happy, those springers. There you go. There it is, there it is, right for the cleaners. Right for the cleaners. There it goes. Good shot, Chris. So neat. That was really cool. You. And you've got to always be ready. The adrenaline is never turned off when you're hunting with spaniels. Go ahead, take it. Got no, I should know better than to bother with those. We'll get them next time, Scott. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Birdie dog, actually. Right there, watch the two. You ready, guys? Boy, I thought that was going to get it up. Right there. Right there it is. Good shot. I've redeemed myself. Nice work. Thank you, I need it. <laughs> Boy, they double teamed that one good. There's no off on the spaniel hunt. You ready, guys? Yeah. You ready, guys? We may have another one right in here. Check out that leftmost dog. That, I thought that. Yeah. One, bang. That's a little far for us. While I love those spaniels, we've got another special treat waiting for us in Florida coming up next on Wing Shooting USA. Scott Linden's Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Win a hunt with us at wingshootingusa.org. Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism. With a long season, there's no place like Kansas for hunting. Yeti, built for the wild and SKB, official shotguns of Wing Shooting USA. Breathing deeper now that the wind is laid down, I know I am, and boy oh boy, another chance at Spaniels, love it. We're in the front yard at Ruggs Ranch near Hefner, all 86,000 acres of it, and boy, oh boy, how about that weather? If you'd like to join us on a hunting trip, we're going to the Sportsman's Paradise in Utah, fishing and hunting. Enter to win at wingshootingusa.org. Of course, the other prize package, two SKB shotguns, that 28 gauge side by side for yourself and a 20 gauge over and under to give to somebody else when you take them hunting. Enter to win at wingshootingusa.org. And while you're there, Ask me a question about bird dogs and bird hunting. Devin Sears asks, I've started using my short hair for goose hunting. Is it okay to move them from upland to waterfowl and back during the same season? 
Devin, I can't think of a downside. The same obedience commands work, the same steadiness challenges will be there. So as long as your dog is well trained, I can't think of any reason you can't go from one to the other and back. They're called versatile dogs for a reason. That's one of them. It's Tegan's 16th birthday, and since so many of you liked our previous episode, we searched for additional footage that fits right into our theme of different dogs in different places. Here, it's a team effort that starts with a wild ride, literally, <laughs> through the swamps like and that? prairies of Central Florida at Quail Creek Plantation. I'll be darned. Okay, there's our pointer, Dewey. Shoulder. Point, flush, retrieve. Sure. That's teamwork. Okay, so he Here's Ruger, the, the other half of the team. All right, Mark. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, dog on point. There's your point. Start with your muzzle a little bit more level to the ground. Okay. Safety off. Weight forward. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A pointer flusher combination gives a new shooter plenty of time to get ready for a safe shot. Dad's bird. Move him get away a little bit. Yeah. So he's <laughs> open that pattern. Our guide Steve Slade has another spot and a surprise deeper in the woods. Whatever we find, the ride alone is already worth the price of admission. He's adorable, full of spunk, <laughs> learning his way around birds and his pointer teammates. <laughs> Got bullets? All right. But you're going to lean over carrying a whole box full. Young Harry here is, uh, what did you say, Steve, about a year? Yes, sir. So he's still learning the game. But uh, how can you resist having a cocker spaniel on the ground with, with you anywhere, let alone here in Florida? Mark, you swing around the right. My eye um, on gun? All right. I get to the left a little bit, Tegan. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go, Tegan. Good dog. You know, when you shoot a rifle, you shoot like this. Mm -hmm. That's why you when you shoot a shotgun, if you're more square to the target, you can swing farther this way and this way. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is you swing hard left or hard right, and your hips just won't go any farther. Your gun stops, and you shoot behind. Right. Well, there's a point over there. Let's go hunting. Tegan, throw a shell in. See, uh, once they get a whiff of bird, none, nothing else matters. Oh, there's a bunch. Get ready, Harry. Get Come ready. on, Harry. Bo boost that ba baby up. <laughs> Good. Good shot, Steve. Good. Darn. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love that. This guy's fired up. He's going to be a good retriever. <laughs> Look at her. Good dog. So we're just breaking in this uh, cocker here, so he needs a little bit of a payoff. Yeah. Plus you didn't lock up on him. <laughs> okay, birthday girl. Dad. Sir. Knock him dead. Okay. All right. A little weight on that front foot. That's Steve says good. cockers can get under the cover and the birds generally fly a little higher. Labs crash into the bush and push birds out the sides. 
at least most of the time. <laughs> get ready, Tegan. There's one more right ahead of us. Oh, she's it. Got to get it. That's a good one. Good shot, Mark. Got to be one more right where she is. Oh, there it goes, Mark. Good shot. Adam Wilson says treat woodcock <laughs> like duck when you cook. Go heavy on the Cajun seasonings and fry just until rare so it doesn't get fishy. Share the common bond of wild food. Get the full recipe and tips at Facebook and go from field to feast. Yeah, there. Yeah, oh, we're looking good. All right, Tegan, get up there. Birthday girl. Nice 45 on your feet there. 16 years ago. I was in a hospital. Coming in from exactly the wrong side, aren't we, Harry? There you go. We nope. may have ended with a miss, yes. but all in all, a pretty cool birthday uh -oh. for Tegan. But the real gift was the variety of dogs, styles, weather, and cover we encountered in this whirlwind tour. Greek philosopher Euripides said, the variety of all things forms a pleasure. I love my dogs, their spirit and their quirks, but seeing how others work with their dogs, or no dogs, is a refreshing change. And as the philosopher said, quite pleasurable. Sometimes getting out of a rut and into the field is the best plan. Let's talk at my Facebook page or blog. I'm Scott Linden, thanks for watching.